Hello everyone, this is Education with AJS and today's video is regarding USBSP Programmer and AVR Loader. First, you have to write education with AJS.blogspot.in, hit enter. Now you will move to the blog. Now scroll down and search for USBSP driver. This is in May section and click on USBSP driver link which is in yellow in color. And at the right top corner you will find download button. So now move two steps back for AVR loader. It is also in the May 2017 section. Click on the AVR loader and the link is given in the yellow color. So click on that and that also. Uh, now you will find at the right top corner download all. So the zip file is start preparing. Actually it takes a few seconds and we will move to the uh, USB C programmer compatibility by using a driver which we downloaded. So we have downloaded the software that is AVR loader and the USB HD programmer driver. Now I'm gonna telling you why we require the driver and that software. Actually when you connect the uh, programmer to the PC and the program it's sent to the microcontroller. It goes via the uh, via the that programmer, and actually that programmer is a medium through which the program is sent to the microcontroller from PC. And the software which we are using, AVR Loader, is giving the command to send the program to the microcontroller. So now we I'm gonna moving towards how to make your programmer compatible to your PC. So first you have to search for device manager and I'm opening that so now I'm gonna connecting the programmer and you can see the change that the USB ASP will be shown on the screen so I have connected that and you can see it refreshes and shows USB ASP it shows the exclamation mark which means it is incompatible so now I'm gonna making it compatible just wait I'm gonna show you something else first so I'm using 80 mega 32 microcontroller and added fuse actually added fuse is used to check is that microcontroller is now working or compatible with the PC or not so it is having the inside RC oscillator which is having the frequency range from 1 megahertz to 8 megahertz if you want if you want to vary that uh, frequency so you can use the external crystal oscillator which having a higher frequency than the given microcontroller have so i'm using the inside crystal oscillator so if i write that means error writing fuse bits because the the programmer is not compatible due to driver so now i'm going to making that compatible so i'm just minimizing it and you can see this is USB ASP so you have downloaded the driver and you have to extract that file which you have downloaded that is USB ASP programmer driver after extraction you have to go there and uh, click, just right click there and update driver software and go for the option browse my computer for the driver software and then search for the location where you have uh, extracted that uh, driver uh, folder so now I'm gonna moving that location actually I have set already and that is all driver and please uh, tick that includes of folders and then go for next it goes for window can't verify the publisher of the driver software then you have to go for install this driver software anyway this is the only way you can go through that and make it compatible so after take after clicking that it takes I think a few seconds and almost up to a minute and then it will be compatible you can see just wait so now it's taking some time so it's done so you can see now it refreshes and show your USB is compatible. Now I'm going back to the AVR loader. I'm gonna show you this edit fuse is now compatible. 
you can see on screen fuse bits return successfully so this is the video regarding the AVR loader and USB ASP programmer driver.